Well, you're clearly drilling. Yes, I can hear it. Absolutely. In today's world, tales of buried treasure often seem like something out of a children's storybook. However, for many adults, the Oak Island treasure, located off Muon Bay in Nova Scotia, has become a lifelong pursuit. The intriguing part, no one knows precisely what this treasure consists of, except that it's potentially worth millions of dollars. Despite the vague details, this uncertainty hasn't deterred a multitude of treasure hunters, archaeologists, and even prominent figures such as politicians and actors from attempting to unlock its secrets. But recently, scientists conducting the final excavation of Oak Island made a chilling discovery that has the potential to reshape everything we know about this mysterious treasure. But what exactly did they find? And how could it change the entire narrative? Let's dive in and uncover the details. When discussing the legend of the money pit on Oak Island, the name Daniel McGuinness inevitably comes to the forefront. In 1795, young Daniel McGuinness made an unwitting discovery while on a fishing trip to Oak Island. While exploring the area, he noticed a peculiar depression in the earth near an old oak tree which appeared to bear marks resembling those made by ropes. Intrigued by tales of pirates burying their treasure underground, the 16-year-old Daniel decided to investigate further. He returned the following day, accompanied by two friends, armed with picks and shovels. As they dug deeper into the earth, they encountered a layer of flagstones at a depth of 1.45 meters. Beneath these flagstones, they discovered a series of logs arranged at intervals of 3 meters, 6 meters, and 9 meters. The task became increasingly challenging. After removing these logs, and their limited equipment prompted them to halt their efforts. It wasn't until 9 years later that they returned to Oak Island, armed with financial backing from a local businessman and a more extensive workforce. Once again, the digging commenced with everyone involved eagerly anticipating the riches they believed lay buried beneath. As they continued to excavate, they encountered additional layers of oak log platforms at varying depths. At a depth of 27.4 meters, they reached a stone slab adorned with inscriptions. With great anticipation, they removed the slab, hoping to uncover the long-awaited treasure only to be met with disappointment, as they found more logs underneath. As night fell, the exhausted workers decided to resume their efforts the next morning, which happened to be a Sunday. However, when they returned to the island on Monday, they were met with dismay, as the shaft had been flooded by seawater. Undeterred, they temporarily abandoned the excavation and returned to their farming duties. They planned to resume the search in the spring. During this hiatus, they dug a separate shaft to allow the seawater to drain from the pit. Unfortunately, this new shaft collapsed, nearly engulfing the men in water. It was at this point that the group reluctantly gave up their quest for the hidden treasure. The question of who buried the treasure at the money pit has fueled numerous theories and speculations over the years. Among the earliest and most enduring theories is that the treasure is linked to the notorious pirate Captain Kidd, celebrated for his exploits in the Indian Ocean and Caribbean Sea. According to this theory, Captain Kidd concealed his ill-gotten riches on Oak Island before his capture and subsequent execution in 1701. It's believed that he left behind a cryptic clue inscribed on a stone, which was said to bear mysterious symbols that when deciphered revealed the message, 40 feet below, 2 million pounds are buried. This theory further suggests that some of Kidd's surviving crew members may have returned to Oak Island in a bid to retrieve the treasure only to be thwarted by intricate booby traps that caused the pit to flood with seawater. Interestingly, this theory garners some historical support from Kidd's documented connections to Nova Scotia, his visit to nearby Block Island, and his purported confession of concealing treasure before his execution. Another prominent theory surrounding the Oak Island treasure revolves around the Knights Templar, a medieval order of warrior monks, renowned for their roles in the Crusades and the safeguarding of Jerusalem. As the theory goes, 
the Templars faced persecution and dissolution by both the Pope and the King of France in 1307, prompting their escape from Europe with their sacred relics and treasures in tow. Some proponents of this theory posit that a faction of Templars may have embarked on a transatlantic voyage, ultimately reaching Oak Island where they concealed their enigmatic artifacts in the money pit. Speculations run wild regarding the nature of these relics, with some suggesting they could include the Holy Grail, the Ark of the Covenant, or even the original manuscripts of William Shakespeare. A third intriguing theory suggests that the treasure concealed within the money pit may have ties to the British Empire. According to this hypothesis, Oak Island served as a covert naval base, or a strategic military depot during the colonial wars. The British purportedly constructed an intricate underground tunnel system on the island, to stockpile critical assets like weapons, ammunition, gold, or vital documents pertinent to their interests in North America. With this context, the money pit was intentionally designed as a component of this security measure featuring mechanisms to flood the pit as a safeguard. The stone bearing mysterious symbols might have served as a misdirection or marker for British agents operating on the island. This theory garners some support from both historical and archaeological findings, including the discovery of British coins, buttons, musket balls, and other artifacts on Oak Island. Additionally, Certain engineering elements of the pit appear to align with British military construction practices. As for the nature of the treasure concealed within the money pit, various hypotheses have emerged, each tantalizing in its own right. One of the most enduring and popular theories proposes that the pit contains an immense cache of pirate treasure. It's well documented that notorious pirates like Captain Kidd and Black beard operated in the waters around Nova Scotia. There's also the intriguing notion that the treasure could be the lost jewels of Marie Antoinette. Amid the turmoil of the French Revolution, it's believed that Marie Antoinette instructed her maid to flee with her precious jewels. These treasures, however, never resurfaced, fueling speculation that they might have found their way to the New World. Could the money pit be the ultimate resting place for these royal heirlooms? This theory holds immense allure, given the scale and significance of such a potential discovery. Another intriguing line of speculation posits that the money pit's true value doesn't reside in gold or jewels, but in something less tangible manuscripts. It has been suggested that the pit might house documents that could provide evidence supporting the theory that Sir Francis Bacon was the true author of some, if not all, of Shakespeare's plays. Bacon, known for his fascination with ciphers and hidden knowledge, is believed by some to have used the pit as a repository for valuable manuscripts or other records that unveil lost knowledge or ancient wisdom. Furthermore, there's the possibility of Incan or Aztec gold being concealed within the money pit's depths. The immense riches of the Inca and Aztec civilizations, much of which was looted by Spanish conquistadors, could potentially have found their way to Oak Island. According to certain theories, survivors of these ancient civilizations or individuals who intercepted the pilfered treasures might have secreted a substantial portion of it within the money pit to safeguard it from further pillaging or discovery. However, recent developments have added an extra layer of excitement to the treasure hunting saga on Oak Island particularly concerning the elusive money pit. The source of this renowned enthusiasm is a scientific survey conducted by Dr. Ian Spooner, a geoscientist affiliated with Acadia University. Dr. Spooner employed a technique known as X-ray fluorescence XRF, to analyze soil samples obtained from various boreholes in the money pit area. The result of this analysis yielded a remarkable discovery. Some of the soil samples contained notably high levels of silver. This finding has sparked speculation that a substantial deposit of silver coins or bars could be concealed beneath the island's surface. The significance of this discovery cannot be overstated. Silver holds a storied history as one of the most valuable and coveted metals throughout the ages. It has served as currency, adorned jewelry and art, 
and played significant roles in various historical narratives. The presence of silver on Oak Island raises the possibility that treasure hunters may be on the verge of uncovering the origins of the mysterious signals and structures they've encountered in the Money Pit area. Moreover, Silver's association with some of the prevailing theories about the treasure's nature and origin, including pirate treasure, Knights Templar artifacts, or Marie Antoinette's jewels, adds further intrigue to the discovery. Moving forward, the team is committed to advancing their exploration and excavation efforts in the Money Pit area. They intend to employ advanced tools and methodologies to precisely locate and identify the silver deposit. In addition to silver, they hope to unearth additional clues and artifacts that might shed light on the identity of those responsible for burying the treasure, the time of its concealment, and the motivations behind it. Their resolve remains unwavering driven by the quest to solve one of history's greatest mysteries, and to share their findings with the world. Moreover, the mysterious origins of the treasure concealed within the depths of Oak Island have not deterred numerous eager explorers from embarking on quests to unearth its secrets. Among these intrepid seekers were individuals as diverse as an American president and a prominent Hollywood actor. In more recent times, the Lagina brothers, Rick and Marty, hailing from Michigan, have taken center stage as the current owners and operators of the majority of the island. They have gained recognition as the stars of The Curse of Oak Island, a series featured on the History Channel that chronicles their ongoing quest to unlock the island's hidden treasures. Over the course of their exploration, the Lagina brothers have made noteworthy discoveries, including bone fragments, coins, jewels, pottery and various metal objects. Yet, despite these persistent efforts to reveal Oak Island's mysteries, a shadow has loomed over the treasure hunters in the form of the curse of Oak Island. This ominous legend suggests that the treasure's unveiling is linked to the requirements that seven individuals must perish before it can be found. The curse's origins remain somewhat obscure with variations of the curse ranging from seven must die before the treasure will be found and beyond. The question of whether the curse is genuine or merely a myth hinges on one's perspective. Undeniably, at least six individuals have tragically lost their lives while pursuing the secrets of Oak Island. These deaths have indisputably contributed to the mystique and allure surrounding the island leaving the curse as a compelling and haunting facet of Oak Island's law. What are your own thoughts on this matter? Feel free to share your insights in the comments below.